What's up mga ka-weather? Ako po si Benison Estareja, isang weather forecaster and welcome to my channel. The reason why I put up this channel is para masagot ang mga frequently asked questions tungkol sa weather at sa meteorology in the Philippines. Isang disclaimer muna, I will not be giving out weather forecasts or weather updates in my future videos at i-reserve po natin yan sa YouTube channel mismo ng Pagasa na DOST Dash Pagasa Weather Report. Throughout my 6 years as a weather forecaster at Bagasa, madalas na tinatanong sa akin kung paano nga ba maging isang weather forecaster. Even during my high school or college days, wala rin akong idea kung paano nga ba maging isang meteorologist. That's why I set it aside. Meron tatlong paraan para maging isang weather forecaster ng Bagasa. Una na dyan, after finishing your high school or senior high school, you have to take a Bachelor of Science in Meteorology. But take note, alam naman natin sa Philippines, kukunti lamang yung mga schools na nag-o-offer ng BS Meteorology, such as Bicol University, Visayas State University, Mariano Marcos State University, and Central Luzon State University. Kung may iba pa kayong alam na schools na nag-o-offer ng Bachelor of Science in Meteorology, please comment down below. Once matapos ka na sa yung BS Meteorology, you have to take an on-the-job training sa Pagasa for a specific amount of time. Maswerte ka kung may school na malapit sa inyo na nag-offer ng BS Meteorology. But don't worry kung wala kasi meron pa namang dalawang ways para maging weather forecaster. The second way is to take any undergraduate course na related sa meteorology. So it could be Bachelor of Science in any engineering courses, BSIT, ICT, or Computer Sciences, BS Mathematics or Statistics, or it could be BS Physics, Chemistry, and other related courses. Just make sure lang na meron kayong units sa Physics or Chemistry na at least 6 units, at meron din kayong units sa Higher Mathematics such as Calculus or Differential Equation. Once matapos kayo sa inyong undergraduate courses, meron yung mga kaakibat na licensure exams, for example, sa engineering courses. At dun sa mga walang license naman ng mga course, you have to take a civil service exams kasi hinahanap din yan ng pag-asa. Once matapos na kayo sa inyong mga licensure exams, civil service exams, or you graduated with Latin honors, then you can now proceed to apply sa pag-asa for a meteorologist training course. The meteorologist training course or MTC is a training course good for 11 months. Approved ito ng World Meteorological Organization at ito yung masasabi nating ticket para maging isang weather forecaster ka ng pag-asa. Para makapasok ka sa meteorologist training course, you have to undergo a qualifying examination. Sa dami na nag apply dyan na around hundreds, only around 40 to 45 lang ang matatanggap. The good news about meteorologist training course is that libre ito. Wala itong bayad at kailangan mo lang mag-aral. Ang catch lang dito, you need to study full-time. Meaning kung meron kang full-time job, kailangan mo muna yung iset aside at maghanap ka na lang instead ng part-time job. Kasi dito sa MTC, wala ka rin tatanggapin na sweldo at meron lang maliit na allowance. So you really need to find a part-time job to sustain your needs. Once makapasok ka sa meteorologist training course, you will undergo a training sa Pagasa Science Garden in Quezon City with lessons on meteorology, climatology, and other related principles. At ang magtuturo sa inyo ay yung mga empleyado rin ng Pagasa at professors from the University of the Philippines. You have to do well in your group works, projects, and examinations kasi meron yung ranking. And at the end of the training course, kapag nakapasok ka sa top 10, mas mataas ang chance mo na makapasok as a weather forecaster o pagasa. At sa mga hindi naman makakapasok ng top 10, don't worry kasi eventually ay mahahard din naman kayo ng pagasa. Ang pinakahuling MTC started in 2019 pero hanggang ngayon hindi pa rin siya natatapos because of the pandemic. So hopefully by the end of 2021 or at the beginning of 2022, ay magkaroon muli ng panibagong meteorologist training course. Maglalagay po ako ng link sa baba patungkol sa mga announcements ng Pagasa kung merong meteorologist training course. The third and final way para mag isang weather forecaster ng Pagasa is again to take any undergraduate course na related sa meteorology and then you have to take a master's degree in meteorology or atmospheric sciences. Alam naman natin na mas mahirap at mas matagal ang master's degree as compared to taking a meteorologist training course. But it has its own advantage. On your master's degree, kapag meron kang thesis na makakatulong na mag-improve ang weather forecast ng Pagasa, then you have a higher chance na ma-hire ng Pagasa as a weather forecaster. To sum things up, there are three ways para maging isang weather forecaster ng Pagasa. Una na dyan, kailangan mo mag-take ng Bachelor of Science in Meteorology, then apply sa Pagasa for an on-the-job training for a specific amount of time. The second way is to undertake any math or science courses na related sa meteorology, take the necessary licensure or civil service exams, then opt to apply for meteorologist training course which is good for 11 months sa Pag-asa Science Garden. 
Now, the third and final way naman is to take the same undergraduate course na related sa meteorology. Then, you have to study a master's degree in meteorology or atmospheric science. At dyan muna natatapos ang aking video. Hopefully, meron na kayong idea kung paano nga ba maging weather forecaster ng pag-asa. Don't forget to like and share this video. At mag-subscribe na rin po sa aking channel para sa iba ko pang mga content. Hanggang sa muli mga ka-weather!